Welcome back to So You're Interested In, the show where I break down an artist's discography in order to give you, the viewer, the best possible jumping off point in order to get into their catalog. On this episode, we will be looking at the shoegaze outfit Narrowhead. Founded in Dallas, but eventually making their way to Houston, Texas, this run for cover artist has been laying out some great heavy material, giving shoegaze their own personal twist as they try their luck with new metal, hardcore, and even Britpop, Narrowhead's sound is seemingly unending. Each of their projects, whether it be an EP or an LP, incorporates challenging new sounds and themes. They push the envelope and their music is better off because of it. So to help spark your interest in Narrowhead, I will be recommending two albums and three individual tracks that I think will be great starting points for any incoming fans. Let's kick things off with the album, shall we? The first record from Narrowhead that you should be listening to is their 2016 release, Satisfaction. Taking their already great shoegaze sound and adding a smidgen of grunge, Satisfaction pays homage to the 90s sounds that forged them. All of this will be apparent as soon as you hear the track Ashtray. Narrowhead expertly mixed in heavy with the serene, creating an outstanding grunge gaze cut that is performed perfectly. It just don't get better than this, folks. Another standout is actually the next song in the sequencing, Cool in Motion. Am I insane or is this borderline? pop punk. The energy is much livelier than their other songs with these slick lyrics that are meant to be belted out in the middle of the pit. One last track that I'd like to point you towards is Wallflower. Hot damn, those are some chunky ass riffs. The drums sound amazing, the grooves are grooving, and the lyrics are just indistinguishable enough to top off this hazy fog. Satisfaction is an instantly enjoyable LP that will be a great starting point for any new Narrowhead listeners. Another album you should be checking out is Moments of Clarity the band's latest effort. Still featuring brooding lyrics and heavy instrumentals, Moments of Clarity adds a healthy amount of pop sensibility as well. Take the opening song, The Real, as a great example. The vocals lay gently atop the riveting guitar strikes that feel like lines being stuck in cages. Just the hook of how good does it feel to be you, to be real, will be enough to pull you all the way in. Then we are blessed with the explosive cut, Trepanation. The ultra soft vocals melt like warm butter over the gorgeous tones that range from from silky smooth to extra crunchy. Another great track is Caroline. This is a love song through and through with some extra heart being put into the vocal performance. Overall, this sounds like a nothing or a Jesus and Mary Chain song, so if that's your type of vibe, then Caroline is the track for you. Finally, I want to touch on the cut Gearhead. The opening riff is heavy as all get out, blasting through your head at supersonic speeds. This is my personal favorite from the LP, mainly due to the sheer noise that is exuded in every damn note. Moments of Clarity is an eclectic mix of tracks that all come together to form a wonderful collection of tunes. That's all for the album, so let's talk about some tracks. The first Narrowhead track to check out is Nervous Habits from their 2014 EP, Far Removed. What seems like a nice, calm song at first turns into a crushing piece that will pummel you into the ground. I don't know the last time that I heard a bass that fucking menacing. Seriously, this instrumental is the music equivalent of that scene from the beginning of Terminator 2 when the Terminator comes in and crushes the skulls. This is one of the first tracks that I heard from Narrowhead a couple of years back, so I think you should give it ye old college try. Another song you should listen to is Satellite from their 2019 single, Coursing Through. My goodness, does this song sound absolutely amazing. It feels like it could have been a deep B-side from Smashing Pumpkin's Siamese Dream, and I know that Narrowhead get this comparison a lot, but in this case, it's pretty fair. Satellite features some of my favorite vocal and instrumental melodies in all of Narrowhead's catalog. You're gonna regret not playing Satellite if you let it pass by. Finally, I think you should put on Crank Case from their 2020 effort, 12th House Rock. From the first guitar strike, this song is a certified headbanger. The grooves are tight despite the hazy aura surrounding them and the yelping vocals smothering them. Also, there's a wild ass guitar solo that creeps up on you that will have you waving your hands to the heavens in excitement. Do yourself a favor and make sure that you listen to Crankcase. And that will conclude my video on Narrowhead. Links to all the albums and tracks discussed here will be located in the video description box below. Scroll down even further to the comment section where you can let me know if you liked any of the picks that I had for this video. You can also 
just any artists you'd like to see covered on this channel. Just know that I do have a bit of a backlog built up. So if you don't see it right away, don't be disappointed. I am still taking all of your suggestions seriously and I might be getting to it. But seriously, you guys have been giving me some really good suggestions. I actually do have some coming out in like the next week or two, I'm pretty sure. So thank you for that. Be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this twice a week, every single Monday and Thursday, along with a show called Stacks of Wax that comes out once a month where I go through my record collection A through Z to flex some of the really cool pieces of vinyl that I own. And be sure to check out the new show that I just brought back where it's at, where I go through the last two months of music to tell you some of my favorite albums or EPs that dropped. And yeah, that's it. That's all that I got. Just make sure to go and support your local record store if you are able to, along with the local artists in your area. And well, until I see you next time, happy listening.